If you clicked on this video, you've probably heard of the thing called remote closing, but you can't find a video that explains all the confusing terms. Like, what's an offer? What's a CRM? What's even a closer? You just feel like all this lingo is too confusing and you're basically on the verge of giving up. But don't worry, I'm gonna answer all your stupid questions. So what the heck is an offer? An offer is honestly just another word for a job. So if you're working for a fitness influencer, you're selling high ticket fitness programs and you're on a fitness offer. Back up, what does high ticket mean? So high ticket means the price of whatever you're selling is high, which means it's gonna be at least $3,000 and up to about $30,000. Okay, let's go over the difference between inbound and outbound. So the way to remember which each one is, is think about it this way. So in inbound, there's the word in, right? Prospects are coming to you into your DMs. So outbound means that you're sending out messages. So an example of an outbound message would be if your appointment setting for an influencer and you're reaching out to their followers, and trying to get them to book a call with a closer. So this is where an appointment setter comes in. A setter is somebody that's booking calls between the prospects and the closer. There's many different types of setters. There's DM setters, there's phone setters. You can be doing inbound or outbound. Personally, I do prefer a DM setting. I mean, it's very easy. All you're doing is texting. And then of course, the closer. I mean, how can we forget that role? So a closer is the last person that speaks to the prospect before the prospect buys or I guess doesn't buy the program, but I mean, if you're closing, why would they not buy, right? So a closer's job is to understand the prospect's pain points and really guide them and show them how the product that they're selling is the solution to their problems and then close them, but hopefully piff them. And I'll explain what piff means in a second. So now prospect. Prospect is basically a potential customer. It's somebody that is interested in the program or product that you're selling, but they have not bought yet. So a niche is just the type of offer that you're working on. There's tons of them out there. There's dating, lifestyle, fitness, coaching, there's real estate, Airbnb, there's tons of them out there. Personally, I think lifestyle programs are the easiest to sell, but each to their own. So as an appointment setter and a closer, you're always going to be using our CRM which stands for Customer Relationship Management. And it's basically just to keep track of all the data of your prospects. And your pipeline is just a group of people that have showed interest in whatever you're selling, but they haven't bought yet. So when closers say that they've closed somebody, that means that they've gotten the prospect to buy the product and the prospect has paid the invoice, whether that's in monthly installments or a PIF. And a PIF just means the prospect paid in full. Oh my God, and how could I forget? Commissions are what you get paid after you've closed a prospect. Well, I mean, hopefully you've PIFed the prospect. So as a setter, you're typically going to be making around 5% commission, and as a closer, you'd be making around 10% commission. So if you're selling a $10,000 package, then a setter that has gotten a deal closed would make $500 and the closer would make $1,000. So since setting and closing basically revolve around commission, some companies will give you a base pay, which just means it's a guaranteed amount of money that you'll make every month on top of your commission. So a discovery call is just another word for a setter call. Basically, the point of this call is just to make sure that the prospect is a good fit for your program which means financially or even personality wise. So on the discovery call is when you're either qualifying the prospect or disqualifying them. If you do qualify the prospect, that means that you have decided that your program can actually benefit the prospect. If you're disqualifying them, then it's either because you think the prospect would not be a good fit for your community inside the program or just because your program couldn't actually help them. So SDR stands for Sales Development Representative. That can mean either a closer or an appointment setter. Tonality is just how your voice sounds when you're talking to a prospect. This is extremely important when it comes to closing deals. The way you can change up your tonality is based on movement, body language, vocabulary, overall clarity. Holding frame is extremely important in closing calls. It basically means that you as a closer are making yourself the authority figure so you have the upper hand in the conversation. So objections, they're so annoying, but you're gonna get them on closing calls probably 99% of the time. So it's really just when a prospect comes up with an excuse for why they don't wanna buy your program today. There's many different types of objections. Normally it's gonna be a price objection. Sometimes there's a spouse objection but normally it's gonna be price. Now let's go over the difference between B2C and B2B. So B2C means that you're selling from business to consumer. So basically you are selling something like a coaching program. B2B means business to business, where you would sell something like content creation or email marketing. Okay, now let's go over upsell versus downsell. Upsell means you're selling the prospect on something that is more expensive than what they originally got on the phone for. And downsell is the complete opposite. 
So the prospect that you were talking to ended up buying something that's actually less expensive than what they got on the phone for. Yeah, you're welcome. I just gave you all the answers that you were not able to find anywhere else on the internet. So like, subscribe, hit the bell, whatever. But I think you should definitely go watch my other videos on remote closing. But if you're somebody that wants your hand held while you're learning how to get into remote closing, then this is something that I personally mentor in. So I will leave the application link below in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.